Hey everybody, God bless. I hope you're doing well. Um, you guys, I want to make sure that I really want to make sure that people really understand this. You guys, when when you say that you're a Christian and you say that you're going to follow Christ, that means you you um when you fully accept and and you're baptized and all of these things that Jesus said to do. Jesus said to do these things. And if you look at Mark 16, 16, Jesus says, if you don't, then you're condemned already. Um, if, if you don't believe and are baptized. And so, um, I, I want to make sure people understand this, that you, you are sa you're in Christ if you accept and believe everything that Jesus said. And then you, just like Jesus died, you guys, you die, you present your body to the Lord as a living sacrifice. And you are graceful and merciful to people. Forgive us our sins, Lord, as we forgive those who sin against us. You cannot say that prayer in truth unless you are exemplifying those character, the what the words are saying. Okay, that's being hypocritical. So... This is Corinthians uh, 1, I think, I believe, I'm not sure. It says, If this were not true, what do people hope to gain by being baptized for the dead? If the dead are not ever going to be raised, why be baptized on their behalf? What about ourselves? Why are we living under constant threat? Look at what Paul was saying, you guys. See, and this is what I, I, the, the hyper-grace community um they're they're teaching false things and they're they're it's not good but it says why are we living under constant threat i face death every day hold on just a second um so yeah you guys paul said why are we living under constant threat he says i face death death every day brothers and i can swear it by the pride that i take in you in christ jesus our lord and you guys really have to ask for understanding and you got to draw close to the lord and you have to be led in the spirit to understand what paul was really truly saying you guys and how you can understand what paul was really saying in the way that it was intended is if you draw close to the lord the way that you draw close to the lord is you have a dedicated prayer life devote an hour a day to prayer praising him praising the name of the lord being thankful for him saying prayers interceding for other people standing in the gap not many people do this there's a reason why jesus said only uh, the road is narrow and only a few find it. But let's look at this this scripture in context, okay? So that we can understand exactly if what I'm saying is is right in the, the way that I'm interpreting it, okay? So, it says, Brothers, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, the gospel that you received in which you are firmly established because... The gospel will save you only if you keep believing exactly what I preach to you. Believing anything else will not lead to anything. Okay? And so, what is, um, what is that? He's saying that only if you continue believing, okay, in what? The gospel. The gospel is all of the things that, I, all for the whole New Testament, you guys, is the gospel. It's the things that Jesus said. It's it's all of that. Okay. Will only save will save you only if you keep believing exactly what I preach to you. And believing, you guys, if you say that you believe in something, then that means you accept it and you're going to do it. Okay, because if you say that you believe in something, but you only believe in parts of it and exemplify those things, you're not really truly believing in it. You're believing in part of it. So, just like Paul says, okay, because the gospel will save you only if you keep believing exactly what I preach to you. Okay, and Paul says the same thing that Jesus says, but in a different way, you guys. He says it in 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 a different um, 
it was different the way that Paul explained things. You guys, to really understand Paul, you have to be led in the Spirit. And the only way that you can be led in the Spirit is if you ask the Lord to be guided with the power of the Holy Spirit. And the Spirit will only stay with you if you draw close to the Lord and live a holy life. There's nothing that Jesus said and taught that Paul it was not teaching. Paul was only elaborating on what Jesus said. Alright, so I love you guys.